Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for checking out United Real Estate Capital and this video. I'm going to go ahead and jump into things without introduction because I know your time might be a little bit short. Here we go. I've created a shopping grid for you so you can take this and go around shopping uh, today, uh, tomorrow, and over the weekend. Uh, the reason why I say that is because this is for today, 926 uh, Thursday. Now, the rate pricing does change daily throughout the day, but uh, tomorrow, Friday, it's not going to fluctuate much, if any, and it's not going to change over Saturday and Sunday. That's why I'm putting this out on Thursday so you can have, you know, three and a half days, almost four days to just do some shopping, whether you're doing some serious shopping or just shopping for the hell of it. So I'm going to tell you here in a second uh, why I have multiple rates here instead of one and how this is going to help you. All right. And it's centered around the APR here. So you probably have not seen any of my videos before. So I'll do a quick explanation of the APR. This is the advertised rate here or note rate. This is the rate that determines what your monthly payment is going to be and how much interest you pay short and long term. Now the APR can be used for a few things in advertising. The APR can be used to determine if there are fees associated with this advertised rate here. Uh, this is uh, really helpful when you are just checking out things online. All right. So when the rate and the APR are the same, like you see down here, 5.99 and this 6% and the 6.125, notice how the rate and APR are the same. That indicates that there are no fees associated with the advertised rate. So that's what the APR is telling you when it's the same as the advertised rate. Now, when the uh, APR is higher than the advertised rate, that lets you know that there are fees associated with the advertised rate. And the higher the APR is above this advertised rate indicates progressively more and more fees associated with the rate. So check this out as we go down 5.875 and this 5.895. That's a very, very small spread, right? That means that there's very little fees associated with this advertised rate. And as we go down, the rates get more expensive. See, this spread gets a little bigger and this spread gets a little bigger. And this spread is uh, nice and big right here. This spread between 5.375 and 5.532 uh, lets you know that there are significant fees associated with this advertised rate. Fees aren't bad but you need to know about them. So that's how you can use it. Here is the problem. Lenders don't advertise multiple rates. I mean, most of them don't. There's only literally like a, a, a handful of them that actually advertise multiple rates. Uh, most lenders, banks, credit unions, brokerages, they only advertise one rate if they advertise any rates at all. And the reason why they do that is because it makes it harder to shop. Uh, the purpose of their advertisements uh, online and other places, it's not to get you to determine if you should shop with them or not. It's to get you to contact them, whether you submit some information online or whether you call them up. That's what it's designed to do, uh, because if there were multiple rates, you'd be able to compare apples to apples. Here's why you cannot compare someone's 5.375 rate to someone's 5.875 rate or their 5.6 or 5.5. You need to compare rate to rate. And I'm going to assume you have not seen any of my videos and you don't know that we all have the same rates. Or if it makes it easier for you to wrap your head around it, we all have access to the same rates. The difference are the cost associated with our rates. We all have different costs associated with our rates. Sometimes some places might be the same. If you have a hard time uh, kind of swallowing that, think about it as a store. We're no different from any other retail store. Uh, two stores have a tube of toothpaste. They have different prices for their tube of toothpaste or their lawnmower or their chainsaws or whatever. Same thing here. Our rates are some of our products. So my products is going to cost different from another store's product. That's what it is. Your shopping fees, not rates. And I know that's contrary from what a lot of you have been indoctrinated to over the years. You call up a place and ask, what is your rate and what are the rates doing? What you're really shopping for are the fees, but that has been kept from most of the uh, public. So you can continue of kind of getting trapped into these uh, advertisements that bait you in to contacting the lender, submitting your information or calling in. Uh, if they just had their, everybody had all of their rates advertised and the APRs, then you would know what they have right from the get go and you wouldn't have to uh, contact them because we do not have to advertise rates. Now, these rates are real rates coming from United Real Estate uh, Capital. Now, these are only seven 
of my rates here. I actually have access to about 22 rates today. Same way with all the places. Every single bank, lender, and brokerage out there has access to the same rates you are looking at here. Now, the reason why I use these seven rates, because these are the rates being advertised out there right now. I think the lowest one I saw was 5.375. I think I might've saw a, a 6.375 out there, but that was a real outlier. Most places the, on the high side are at six point, advertising 6.125. So you don't ever uh, compare uh, this rate to this rate, you know, one, one rate to another, you have to compare rate to rate that are the same. So you compare someone else's 5.999 to another company's 5.999 to somebody's 5.5 to another 5.5. You have to compare rate to rate. So the difference are going to be the APRs. So let me show you in this example here. So you run into two places and they are both showing a 5.625 rate. But look, the APRs are different. This one has a 5.675 APR. This one has a 5.702 APR. Now, considering the loan amounts should be the close or the same, and they're both 30 year fixed loans and they both have the same rate, the only difference will be the fees. This 5.675 uh, let you know that it has lower fees than this 5.702. The same rates here, but the one with the lower APR has the lower fees. Now, let me give you an idea of how the spread looks. Because I told you about the spread, the bigger the spread, the more the fees. So check this out. Here's that 5.875 rate and the 5.895 APR. Uh, I told you that the spread is so small, it only has $941 in lender's fees compared to this one, 5.375 to a 5.532. This is considered a big spread. That's why you see it's $8,189 in lender's fees. So keep that in mind when you're out there, uh, just shop around for the fun of it. Even if you're, you're not seriously looking for a loan right now let's say you're looking maybe down six months down the road check this out it's better to learn now than learning at the the last minute so this lets you know now uh, united has um, a slightly a somewhat discounted fee so something like this if you see a spread about this small um, they're going to probably be more like 1100 something, maybe 1200 bucks, uh, in fees. If you run into another discounted place, same thing with this one, they might be at close, maybe a, a hair over 9,000, uh, something. So, you know, uh, just comparing two different places, United is a, a, a bit of a, a, a discounted, uh, brokerage. So that just gives you an idea though, of, of how the spreads look. You see a small spread, small fees, a larger spread, larger fees. Doesn't mean that the larger fees are bad uh, because the lower APR will pay out in the long run. So if you if you were just comparing these this rate to this rate and you're wondering, hey, should I pay points to get this rate? Well, if you're going to live in that house for 30 years or whatever time of the loan, if you're doing a 20 year loan, if you're going to live in the house for 20 years or a 15 year loan, you're going to live in there for the full 15 years. The rate with the lower APR will save you more money over the long run, even though you're paying higher fees. So that's the whole purpose of it. But the problem is a lot of people only stay in their places five, seven years before they refinance or sell the home. So let's go back uh, to the shopping grid here and finish up. So this is it. You can use this grid, even though these are the rates for 926, they're not going to real be a, a real big change 927. And there's going to be no change on Saturday and uh, Sunday. So you can use this shopping grid to shop around. So you go around till you find a, a lender online with a 5.875 rate, and then you can compare uh, compare it to this one, or you don't have to compare it to United. You compare it to another lender showing a 5.875. Again, you just you have to compare rate to rate. The rate with the lower APR has lower fees. So I hope this uh, little uh, this little shopping grid uh, helped you out. Uh, give me some feedback if you do use it. I want to see how helpful it was um, on uh, today, tomorrow, or, or or whenever. I'll put out another one of these grids uh, uh, shortly, maybe in a week or something like that. I'll put out another one of these grids so you, because right now we're in a downward rate environment. Uh, we're not going to see two and 3% rates like during COVID, but we'll see, you know, how, how it's going to go down. I mean, if we do get really, really good drops, then, you know, start seeing some more, some f high 4% rates advertised. Uh, but you know, my was, I was counting on low fives out there, but we'll see, you know, can't, can't, it's uh, too early to tell right now. Anyway, thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, drop any questions you have in the comments, or if you want to choose, shoot something private, the contact information is, is in the, uh, the YouTube, uh, channel. All right. Uh, take it easy and I'll catch you on the next video.